Let's talk about databases and learn how to work with databases from our PHP program. I'm going to tell you about MySQL database because MySQL is one of the most popular databases with PHP. There are two ways to get connected to MySQL. One is with MySQL I and the other is with PDO. You can choose whatever you like. They are very similar, but for this tutorial, I will work with PDO because PDO can work with more than 12 databases, but MySQLi can only work with MySQL. So if you work with PDO and later you decide to change your database to something other than MySQL, it's very simple, no problem. We have already talked about object-oriented programming and PDO is a class. We should create an object from this class and then work with these functionalities. The very first step is to get connected to the database. And as I said, we are going to use PDO. So let's create a new object of this PDO class. PDO equals to new PDO. The first argument is DSN. DSN is in a very special format. We specify the database here in our case is MySQL. Then we specify the host. Uh, which is localhost in our case and then we we can specify db name later but in our case i want to specify it here db name because our database already exists and we just want to get connected to it but if you want you can even create databases from here and you don't need to specify the db name here so a uh, db name should be for example php course because in our case, the database will be PHP course. And then after this DSN, uh, we pass the username of our uh, database, which in our case, because it's in our local computer, it's root and the password is empty in our case. Now let's go to our database and create a database named PHP course. If you have installed XAMPP, when you go to localhost dashboard, it will show you PHP My Admin. If you go to PHP My Admin, it helps us manage our databases, browse the data, and a lot of other powerful things. If you get a hosting, you will probably see something like this PHP My Admin in your cPanel. So it's very good to get used to it in your local computer. That's why XAMPP has included PHP My Admin in the local development environment. Here, in order to create a database, let's go to databases. Here, I can specify the name PHP course. And I can specify the Unicode. Let's keep the characters like this and let's create. Okay, now I have a database called PHP course. It has no table. We can create a sample table here or we can create a table from our code. Let's create a table here. Let's name it example with two columns the first is the id and the second is the name and here it would be a var char with the length of 190 and the default cannot be null there would it wouldn't be a null the id can also be auto increment it has also gotten the primary index because it's the key let's keep Let's save it and great. Now we have this table. The name of the table is example and it has two columns, ID and name. Okay, now let's go back to our code and interact with this database from our code. The very first thing that we want to do after getting connected to our database is to insert some data to it. So let's do it. I want to run the function PDO. When we use this object, it has a function called exec. This exec can get our SQL statement and it would run this SQL statement and then add the data, update the data and things like that. For now, we want to insert into our database. So we want to insert into the name of the database was example, example, then we specify the keys. The ID will be automatically generated. So I will only specify the name and then we have the values. 
let's say the value would be Amir and this function, this exec function will return the count of the changed rows so I'm going to store that in a variable called count so if this exec runs correctly and inserts the name Amir in my table this should be one because a new row has been added to the database and PDO will return one so I'm going to echo count rows were affected okay perfect now if I run the code I expect Amir to be added to the database so let's run the code php index.php we get connected to the database and we run insert and as you can see we get one row were affected now let's go back to our PHP my admin and see if it's true let's go to browse section and as you can see a name Amir has been added perfect here as you can see it has created the ID sometimes you might need to get the ID of the last item that was added to the database let's add some other value PHP and this time I want to get the ID of the last inserted item in order to do that I could get the last ID last ID by getting that value from my PDO object which is last inserted ID and now I can add that to my echo count rows were affected and the last inserted ID is this now let's run the code again to see what we get the last inserted ID should be 2 exactly one rows were affected and the last inserted ID is 2 let's go back to our PHP my admin and as you can see let me refresh the page as you can see it has added PHP with the ID of 2 perfect if we want to insert multiple rows at once you can use transaction you need to start the transaction to do the things you want to do and then commit it in order to use uh, the power of transactions in our code as well we should use that PDO begin transaction and then we can run any statement that we want here and at the end we should run the code PDO commit and then it would commit all the transaction and as you probably know from working with MySQL if any of those statements failed the transaction is going to roll back and none of the statement will be committed but if everything is going smoothly and there is no error then all the statements will run and you add or update the data in the database so now let's insert lines like this for example I want to add PHP second PHP I want to add YouTube I want to add Twitter I want to add John and let me comment this part out and now all these statements will be run as a transaction so let's run our code and see if we get any error perfectly fine it has run now if we go to our PHP my admin and browse as you can see four new rows have been added second PHP YouTube Twitter and John the thing with exec is that if you don't want to have any variable or user input inside your SQL statement you can use exec but if you want to use user input then do not use exec at all because it does not protect you from SQL injection which is one of the most common way a website gets hacked first of all validate your input and check everything with data validation and sanitizing the data that we have learned about then instead of using exec use prepare I'm going to show you how to use prepare here let me comment these parts out for example let's say I have a name here the name is another example and my statement first we need to create and prepare an statement how we can do that we can use PDO prepare 
This prepare gets a query as the first argument, which in our case was insert into this example table, the name, and here the name would be this name. Now, instead of writing the name here, I will add a question mark here. This will give me a statement. This is preparing the statement for me. Let's call this STM for short for a statement. Then we can now bind values to this value. How can we do that? We can call statement bind values. And this we are telling the PDO object that I want for my first question mark to be the name. Now PDO is going to come and change this name and make it secure and convert it to a string and then add it here. So if I had any kind of SQL injection or something, still it's not going to work because it's going to be turned to an S string. And then after this, we have to execute the statement. Now we can call statement and execute. Now the prepared statement will be executed and added to the database. Let's run the code and see if another example will be added to our table, run the code, it has prepared the statement, it has binded the value and executed the statement. Now, if I go to my PHP, my admin and refresh the page, I can see that another example has been added perfectly fine. This is the safe and better way to insert data into database. Now let's talk about updating and deleting the data. In order to update, we can use exec function, we can use update, example, set name equals to Amir updated, where id equals to 1. We can do that, we can store the count again and run the code, but let's get used to doing it the safe way. So instead of writing this, I'm going to do this again update example let's bring it here we would say okay update the set name let's create a new variable name equals to amir updated let's comment this out and let's comment this part out as well and the id would be one now here because we are passing two items we can add one question mark here and one question mark here. Now I can bind values. The first value is the name and the second value is the ID. I can pass it here. Now PDO is going to prepare this statement, bind these values of ID and name to this statement and then execute it. I expect my first row with the ID one to be updated to Amir updated. Let's run the code and see if it works. PHP index.php. Let's go to our PHP my admin and browse the data. And as you can see, Amir has updated to Amir updated. Perfect. Now let's talk about deleting the data. Again, with deleting the data, we could use exec and write delete, delete from example where id equals to one and then run our code but again let's get used to using this structure of prepared statements it's much safer so instead of that i'm going to write delete everything from example table where id equals to question mark and id would be passed from here the first item would be id and we do not have a second value so if i run this statement i expect my row with the id of one to be deleted let's run the code and see the results and let's go to php my admin and as you can see, the first row was deleted. Perfect. Now let's talk about selecting the data and reading from database. 
let's comment this part out. In order to select the data from database, we need to use query rather than exec. So our function would be PDO query. And then we write the statement here, like select everything from example. example select everything from example this would return an statement statement equals to this now in order to get all the data we need to run fetch all function on this statement statement fetch all this fetch all function gets an argument this argument is the mode we are telling pdo that how i want to receive the data if we write for example pd o uh, fetch fetch associative then it will return the data as an associative array if i pass fetch num fetch num then it will return the data as an indexed array and if i run fetch both it's going to return a combination of both index and associative array i personally prefer fetch associative so i'm going to use it here as well now this fetch all with the mode fetch associative is going to return all the rows so i'm going to store all the rows in a variable and since this is an associative array I can write a loop and then use the data here I'm going to use a for each loop and for each rows as row I'm going to echo row name and plus PHP in the line and let's run the code to see what we'll get I expect PHP to go through this code get the data from database and echo the name in each row so let's run it and as you can see it has echoed php second php youtube twitter john and another example since it's an associative array the key is id and i can also echo that let's see the id and the value here the id of php is 2 the id of second php is 3 the id of youtube is 4 and so on this is again a very good way to select data from database but it's like exec as you can see it's not safe for example if i wanted to write something like select everything from example where name like something then i have to add a variable it's never safe to use it like this so it's good to use prepared statement for select we also have prepared a statement we can do it like this we run pdo prepare and then we write this uh, select everything from example where name equals to question mark and then we pass the name like YouTube and then we bind the value A statement equals to this and then statement bind value the first question mark is going to be the name and then STM and then STM execute and now this execute is going to act like this statement PDO query but with a prepared statement and much safer now I need to fetch everything from this statement I can use the exact same functionality from above but instead of a statement I'm going to use stm here because this one is the prepared statement and then I can write the same exact loop here and go through the data let's run the code again because we have specified that I want only the one that has the name YouTube it has returned only one row and the name is YouTube the ID is 4 this is the end of this section and working with databases. Now let's go to the next topic.